want to show you a day in my life as a business major at UC Berkeley. And so this morning, I woke up at like 11 a.m. And the reason why was because one of my English classes this morning was canceled. And so uh, I had kind of like the morning to myself. Now I'm going to be here for approximately the next four hours. Uh, you know, basically one of my consulting clubs, we have a midterm deliverable, which is basically just a presentation um, later this week. And then so I work a little bit on that. Also, I basically have an internship shift. After that, I have class around four o'clock and I have some dinner plans, a meeting, um, and then yeah, it should be a pretty fun day. And so I'll just take you guys around and uh, it should be pretty good. And so for the next few hours, I will now be doing some internship work. Yeah, basically, from Monday to Thursdays, I interned for the management consulting firm. The nice thing is that I get to do it completely remotely, uh, which I absolutely love. Yeah, right now, I'm just working on a presentation. In around 25 minutes, I will be hopping on a call with my supervisor just to talk over a few things, which should be pretty fun. Honestly, I've really been able to learn just so much from this internship. You know, as a business major, and other people might disagree, but I feel like the least of your worries is the actual classes. As a result of that, you have to make yourself busy some somehow and so whether it's you know doing internships during the fall and spring or you know joining a bunch of clubs uh, I feel like that's how you're able to make yourself busy as a business major and honestly that's also how you learn the most as well. I've never really considered myself to be that much of an academic person you know while I enjoy learning I don't really like doing it in a classroom environment and so I feel like me studying the major that I am is really really ideal just because it allows me to focus more my effort on the things I actually want to do but anyways I will focus in now and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Yeah, once again, the perks of interning remotely, gotta go where I want to. <laughs> Alright, and so it's now 4 o'clock, and so I am done with my internship shift, uh, and I'm gonna be heading off for class in a bit. Now, I live about a mile away from the business school, and the reason why is because basically with Berkeley, after your first year, uh, you essentially don't have dorming, and so you gotta find like different apartments uh, nearby the campus. Honestly, that's one thing about Cal that I find very, very interesting, where, you know, I think that you're just very much independent and kind of on your own. To be completely honest though, I absolutely love it, and I wouldn't want to have it any other way, uh, you know, because after graduation, sometimes there just feels like a huge shift between, you know, your college life of being in a dorm, being able to go to the cafeteria, uh, living with such friends, um, to, you know, working in the real world, whereas at Berkeley, I feel like that shift is not nearly as prevalent and a lot of people after they graduate uh yeah like their lives are not significantly different than they were you know when they're in college and so it's honestly just makes a lot of smooth for a transition which i actually really really like but yeah anyways i'm gonna try catching a bus to the business school just so i don't have to walk like 30 minutes and so yeah hopefully i make it on time like me good china's out of mind and then white me white me white me Kirsten, do you have nail polish remover? Kevin, just because I'm a girl doesn't mean I have nail polish no, that, that, that's not That's not what I meant. <laughs> no, because the problem is, like, I feel like people see my nail and they just assume that like I paint my nails normally. But like, this is not a normal thing. Like This is like something I'm trying I to get know, rid of. That is not the normal thing. Yeah, I feel I can see it. <laughs> well, anyways, we are back here in the apartment. Here's the thing, right? I feel like if I don't have classes, I'm not gonna go on campus. And so, even though I feel like, yeah, I'm attending Berkeley, I'm never actually at Berkeley unless I absolutely need to. But, anyways, I am going to eat some food, chill for a little bit, and I have a meeting in like two hours. And so, it should be pretty fun. Anyways, the meeting is finally over now, 9.40. Uh, yeah, that meeting went so long, uh, but not too bad, honestly. But yeah, basically don't work for the day. Honestly, pretty productive, not gonna lie. Um, and yeah, just gonna relax now. Alright, so this is my roommate Daniel. Daniel, say hi. 
Okay, so Daniel's a blue belt in jujitsu, and earlier today he asked me, Kevin, have you ever got choked out unconscious before? Kevin, you ever been choked out unconscious? Obviously, I said no. Uh, and so he asked, do you want to try? And so, uh, yeah, let's try really quickly. Keep your hands up. Okay. okay. You're not going to get choked out completely, okay? Okay, okay? okay. I just want you to go until you see, like, the black edges around your eyeballs. That makes me feel so much better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, here. Alright. Wait, 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 wait. That's so weird. Like, I feel like so like lightheaded right now. Oh my god. Okay, well, figure next. <laughs> <laughs> Does it feel weird? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. You're like, yeah. You feel like tingling your hands and everything. It's weird. I don't know like when I actually should stop. <laughs> like I wanna stop right before I even see the black. So I don't know when to actually stop. So here's the thing, I, I get like scared. Like I feel like a little like yeah, it was already kinda like, like getting really like fuzzy and everything. And I was like, yeah, there's no way I'm going farther with this. I, I feel like my ears just like stop hearing and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> <Good night. laughs> 